Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct, and in today's video, we have a really special treat for you. We're going to show you a first person experience of what it's like to travel on an airplane with a mobility scooter. In this video, we have the brand new iGo by Pride Mobility. It's a folding hybrid travel friendly mobility scooter, meaning that it can fold and it comes apart. The heaviest piece weighs just about 32 pounds. It can disassemble into three pieces. It's super easy to travel with, and we couldn't be more excited to show you what it's like to take an airplane while using a mobility scooter. Hopefully you enjoy, and what you're seeing here is that we're just getting out of our shared transportation vehicle. It was stored in the trunk of a car. It was folded up, and we're just getting out of the car and away from traffic quickly. So we have the unit in trolley mode, which you can fold it up and carry it around like a suitcase. You just have to fold it up and disengage the automatic brakes in the front. Now, a few quick specs about this scooter. It can hold up to 275 pounds. It travels up to four miles per hour, has a five inch ground clearance and can go up to nine miles on a full charge. It does have a airline approved lithium battery and we're showing you here how to go ahead and put it into trolley mode. You will have to disengage the brakes, which is that red lever I just disengaged there. And then you can start carrying it around like a carry-on luggage with wheels. It's very convenient to transport in this position. And when you're getting ready to ride the scooter, you just have to unfold it. We have another video, which is an in-depth review video. I highly recommend watching it. Just go to our YouTube channel or check the link in the description below. So we unfolded the scooter, and now we're riding it. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to film in the TSA checkpoint, so I had to turn the camera off and go through TSA, but there was a disabled persons and handicap separate line that you would go through if you have a wheelchair or scooter. And that line is only a fraction of the line size of the standard TSA checkpoint line. So you save a lot of time by going through that line with a mobility scooter or a wheelchair, which is just one of the benefits of using a mobility scooter. Of course, in this scenario, I have a bad knee, so using a mobility scooter to travel around the airport, stand up for several hours waiting for your flight helps a lot. If I stand on my feet for more than an hour, my knee tends to swell up, I get very sore. So having a mobility scooter in this type of a scenario and environment is extremely beneficial for me. Uh, mobility scooters are great for individuals that have a hard time standing for a long period of time or um, that have problems walking for a long period of time. You don't need to be completely disabled or handicapped to use a mobility scooter. They are very practical for individuals that, again, like myself, have a hard time walking for a long period of time. So here we're just showing you what it's like to kind of go around the airport terminals uh, I'm looking for the elevator. This is in the Atlanta airport where I wasn't too familiar how to get around. So I asked one of the attendants and I just followed the sign to go to the elevator, which then would take me up to my gate, which was gate letter A. And I believe it was uh, gate 19 in the A section. So I'm just waiting for the elevator here with a couple of other individuals that are being chauffeured around on their uh, wheelchairs, which they do offer as a complimentary service if you need it. But of course, having your own powered mobility product has a lot of benefits. So in this video, we're, show, we're hoping to share those benefits with you and show you exactly what it's like so you know what to expect if you have a mobility scooter. You don't actually need to pre-check this item. You can go right up to the gate, speak to one of the attendants at the gate right before entering the plane, and they'll give you a pink tag to put on your scooter so that they know it's something that's going to be checked as a medical device. So they'll actually the airline attendants will store your mobility scooter in an appropriate area where medical transportation devices are stored. It's not just going to be stored with everybody else's luggage. They try their best to take care of it. Now, sometimes you will find that your scooter does get scuffed up or scratched or damaged by the airline handlers that take your scooter and check it into the cargo area. It is something that is unfortunately a common problem but if you do get your scooter back after you get off the plane and it shows up damaged or scratched, typically you just have to show a receipt to the airline company after you pay for the repairs and the labor, and they'll cut you a check to reimburse you for the costs that are associated with any damage that was incurred while the scooter was in the uh, hands of the airline attendants that 
check the scooter for you at the entrance of the plane. So you can't actually ride your scooter into the plane. You would basically just be able to ride it right up to the entrance of the plane, at which point you will need to either transport onto an airplane friendly wheelchair, which is fitted to go through the aisles of an airplane, or you, if you can, you would walk to your seat and then as soon as the plane ride is over, you would come out of the plane and your scooter or power wheelchair would be ready for you right at the exit door of the airplane. So here I'm just checking in. I showed them my ticket, which I use on the app. So it's uh, more environmentally friendly. You don't have to print your boarding pass. You just show it on the app and they're able to scan it. And I'm making my way through the concourse here and going right up to the airplane door. At that point, as soon as I make it up to the door, you basically just leave your scooter there with your pink tag that you could see on my right side handlebar and just leave it there ready to be transported. I would recommend turning the automatic brakes off so that they don't have a hard time moving the unit. If your brakes are on, then the wheels will not turn and the airline attendants that are responsible for moving the powered mobility device into the storage area might not know what to do to turn those brakes off. You have to remember these airline attendants are not really well versed on these products. So something as simple as turning off the automatic braking system could help them or prevent them from dragging the scooter or wheelchair and burning out the rubber on the tires while dragging it, causing the tires to have an uneven spot. So by just disengaging the brake, you know, you're going to save them some trouble. So I'm folding it up here. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. There's a little lock there on the left-hand side once you fold it up. Again, check out the other video. We have the in-depth review so you can learn all about the process of folding it, unfolding it, uh, taking the battery out, adjusting the tiller, tilt, angle. There's a lot of great features uh, that the iGo by Pride Mobility offers. And hopefully you'll visit our YouTube video and learn all about those features. So I basically have the scooter ready to be transported. I'm just putting it as close to the door there where the uh, cargo attendants are able to come up and grab any last minute checked items. And that's where they are gonna take the scooter. So I'm just making my way into the plane. I do turn my camera off just for a moment so that I'm not um, you know, getting distracted here and making my way to my seat quickly. So I turn the camera off just briefly and basically just find my way to the seat. Once I'm there, I just enjoy the ride. I, you know, I put my plane and my, my phone in airplane mode, of course, as they uh, request on the speaker system just before taking off. And I just took a quick nap. And before I knew it, the flight was over and I'm ready to unboard the plane. So as you can see, I'm making my way out of the plane now. And right at the exit, you'll see some of the cargo handlers are there and my scooter is waiting for me. The scooter was unscathed. I did notice that a couple of the caps for the mirror accessories where they screw in were missing, but not a big deal. Those little rubber caps are not really going to make a difference in the performance of the scooter. They just cover the holes where the mirrors screw into, or you could screw a cell phone holder into one of those holes. So the airline attendant said they lost one of them. Not a big deal. I retrieved the other one. And I was able to basically take my scooter right there from the exit of the gate, unfold it, I was able to do so without being rushed. I was, I had plenty of time to unfold it, plenty of space to get it going so that I could ride my scooter right off of the concourse and find my way to the pickup area where my wife was ready with the vehicle to pick me up. So this is pretty much going to be the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a real pleasure being able to utilize the iGo in an environment like this while going on an airplane ride. And it can also be used in theme parks. If you're traveling with family, uh, you could take this scooter to many different places. It's a travel friendly scooter. Again, the battery is airline approved, so you won't have to worry about that. And as you can see, I have the scooter unfolded. I put my key in the ignition. I think I have to just make sure that the automatic braking system is engaged or else the scooter won't work. And I was traveling pretty light. I just had my backpack. I went to a trade show in Atlanta, Georgia. So from Georgia to Florida, it was only about an hour and a half flight. And it was a real pleasure being able to use an iGo or any mobility scooter, really. Of 
Of course, Pride Mobility makes some of the best travel mobility scooters on the market. They offer excellent warranty support. All of their scooters come with a one-year labor contract, which covers in-home repairs associated with, with any warranty-approved uh, claims. So within the first year, if something goes wrong and you file a warranty claim, as long as it's approved, uh, we will either come to your home to repair the item or Pride Mobility will dispatch a technician in your local area to repair the scooter. So you'll get an awesome parts warranty, a one-year labor contract. You also have the option to upgrade to a two-year labor contract. And that is one of the many reasons why we highly recommend Pride Mobility products. When you buy a Pride Mobility product, you get peace of mind with that labor contract. And they have been in the industry longer than most other manufacturing companies. They are one of the most trusted and well-known name brands in the powered mobility space. So if you have any questions about this product or any of the other powered mobility products that we carry, please don't hesitate to call our non-commissioned sales experts with the phone number at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to earn your business. We have non-commissioned sales experts that are not pushy and they just wanna help find a product that you're gonna love and be able to use for many, many years. All of these Pride Mobility products that we offer provide customers with many years of hassle-free use. So thank you again for watching this video. And as you can see, my wife was there to pick me up. She has a little SUV, not a huge one, but plenty of space for some luggage and the iGo folding mobility scooter. So I'm showing you here, you can fold the seat backrest forward and then depress the lever on the bottom part of the front of the seat, fold the seat platform down, and then grab the handle in the middle as well as the handle in the front, which has a little lever that you have to depress. And once it's folded, you can lock it into place, lower the handlebar, and stick it right into the back of your cargo space of your SUV, or in the trunk of your car, or the back of uh, the truck. So again, this is the iGo by Pride Mobility, and I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. I hope you enjoyed this video. We look forward to any questions that you have. Please post them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for a chance to win a free mobility scooter once a month. Until next time, everybody, thank you and have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.